Hello, my name is Miss Morfitt Murdoch, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, doing A level geography at Coldew School. So, first off, think of some reasons why you might actually choose geography. The geography itself is all about the future and it encourages flexible thinking. And if you love geography or you really enjoy learning about our world, then why not give it a go? It's a fantastic course which offers plenty of flexibility in terms of it links really well with the humanities subjects as well as science and arts. Okay. It also helps you to understand a little bit about the physical and human world that we work, that we live in and work in through fieldwork as well as we are learning in the classroom. It fosters transferable skills what all employers are looking for and helps you to make wise, balanced decisions about the environment, economic and social concerns in the context of sustainable development. Now, geographers themselves are actually one of the best graduate employment records in the country. Uh, geography graduates are among the most employable of all graduates. They possess the skills that employers are looking for. And part of this, it's because geography brings together us to other subjects. To study geography, it will give you an oversight that no other subject can give, and it therefore combines well with any AS or A2 subjects. There are a variety of career destinations for geography graduates. Um, we can see that we have some going into management and administration or further training, potentially to do a PGCE for teaching. We have geography graduates that end up in the financial sector, the retail sector, or joining other professions, including the media. So a few examples of jobs that geographers do out there. Discovering those new places, travel agents, tourism officers, um, or ecotourism advisors. We enjoy being within the landscape or within the physical environment. Civil engineers, geologists, hydrologists. Maybe you have an interest in the weather. All those weather presenters that you see on the TV all have meteorological degrees. They have a degree which focuses on the understanding of the weather. And the basis of that is that geography education. Um, if you have care about the planet or you've got an environmental mindset, we could look down the route of estate management, forestry rangers or environmental consultants, just to name a few. If you want to delve more into the human aspect of our world, um, we've got an interest in maps, the GIS specialists, um, could be cartographers, utilities management, or remote sensing um, analysts. An interest in human behaviour. Um, planners, so these are town planners. They basically can decide what's happening and where within different cities um, and where things can be built. You can also look at estate agents or housing officers, maybe even social workers. Um, want to know why people work where they do? This is where our sort of analyst side of things come in. So economic developers, location analysts, or even retailers. Well, how about you're more interested in working with world events? We've got aid workers, diplomats, refugee advisors, even charity coordinators. Geography has ha can help people to access these kind of jobs and these kind of careers because it's a fantastic supplementary subject which easily works with a variety of different subjects to support an application, to support that way into further education or into the work of world. Um, however, obviously, if you are interested in further education, you can go down that route. So you've got PGCs for teaching qualifications, uh, or maybe even Masters of Science and Masters of Arts, um, and even PhDs further down the route. Now, your AS course, what would it actually include? So you'd learn four topics over the course of the year, two in the topic of dynamic landscapes, your paper one, this year tectonic processes and hazards and your coastal landscapes and change. And you'd learn two within your paper two. The first one would be dynamic, it's called dynamic places. The first one would be globalization. And then it's either regenerating places or diverse places, depending which one is done that year. Both of these hold um, the same amount in terms of weighting. They're both 50% of your AS and 90 marks each, and a written exam of at 1 hour 45. We jump up to A2, so the second part of the course. You'll take the information and your knowledge that you've learned in the AS, and you will be examined on it again. However, we're going to add in a little bit more. So to add into paper one, we're going to add the water cycle and the carbon cycle, and into paper two, we add superpowers and migration identity and sovereignty. Both those exam exams are 2 hours 15. One of the 105 marks, and both of them are worth 30% of your A2 grade. We also have something called a synoptic paper. The synoptic paper brings together all the ideas that you're going to learn over this course, as well as 
um, a document which you will be required to read and use as part of the exam. That's another two hours 15, but that's only worth 20% of your A2 level. It's only got 70 marks attached to it. There's also an independent investigation, so your NEA or coursework, and that's worth 20%. But you'll be given plenty of support along the way. We go out and do some field work as well towards the end of year 12. And the support is there to help you succeed throughout this course. The course will be taught by myself, Mr. Atkinson and, and Ms. Vaudry, or a combination of us three. Um, it varies from year to year. But we are all here to help support you and help make you successful within your A-level geography. If you have any other questions, uh, please see myself, Mr. Atkinson or Ms. Vaudry. We are all happy to help and answer any queries you may have. Thank you.